Have you ever wondered how a pack of wolves hunt? It's a fascinating, intricate dance of nature full of strategy and teamwork. This is not a random, chaotic chase you might picture, but a well-coordinated effort, a testament to the intelligence and harmony of these magnificent creatures. The art of wolf hunting is a complex process, a ballet of sorts, choreographed by nature itself. It's a dance that requires not only physical strength, but also a deep understanding of the environment, the prey, and the roles each member of the pack plays. Wolves are social animals, living and hunting in packs. These packs can range from a small family of four or five to large groups of 20 or more. The strength of a wolf pack lies not in its numbers but in the way its members work together. In a wolf pack every member has a role to play. Some wolves are the scouts, others the chasers and some the ambushers. It's a well-oiled machine, a perfect example of teamwork and coordination in the animal kingdom. Each wolf knows its role and plays it to perfection, contributing to the success of the hunt. Wolf hunting is not just about brute force. It's a game of intelligence and strategy. Wolves are highly intelligent creatures capable of complex problem-solving and strategic thinking. They use their intelligence to plan their hunts, carefully selecting their prey and the best approach to take. They understand their environment and use it to their advantage, using the terrain and weather conditions to aid in their hunt. By observing wolves in their natural habitat, we can learn a lot about their behavior and hunting tactics. It's a window into a world that is both brutal and beautiful. A world where survival is a game of strategy and strength, intelligence and teamwork. So let's dive into the intricate world of wolf hunting and understand the strategies they use. A wolf pack is not just a group of wolves, it's a highly organized unit with a strict hierarchy. Just like a well-oiled machine, each member of the pack has a specific role that contributes to the overall success of the hunt. At the top of the hierarchy, we have the alpha wolves. These are typically the strongest and most experienced members of the pack, leading the others during the hunt. They're the ones who initiate and coordinate the hunt, making the strategic decisions that determine the pack's success or failure. Then, we have the beta wolves. These are the second-in-command, the right-hand wolves to the alphas. They are usually the most loyal and dutiful members of the pack, assisting the alphas in leading the hunt and stepping in to take control should the alpha be unable to perform their duties. Finally, we have the Omega Wolves. These are the lowest ranking members of the pack, but don't be fooled by their position. They play a crucial role in maintaining the pack's social structure, often acting as peacemakers during internal conflicts. During the hunt, they typically take on roles such as distracting the prey or helping to corner it, tasks that are just as important to the hunt's success as the leadership of the Alphas. Understanding the structure of the pack is crucial to understanding how they hunt, each wolf has a role to play. The pack's structure isn't just about dominance and submission, it's about cooperation and teamwork, and it's this unity that makes the wolf pack such a formidable hunting machine. Wolves don't just run into a herd of animals and hope for the best, they have a well thought out strategy. When it comes to hunting wolves are masters of their environment, they use every aspect of their surroundings to their advantage. In open plains, they can use the terrain for large sweeping movements, corralling their prey. In dense forests they can use their superior agility to navigate through the underbrush better than their quarry. Their hunting strategy is not a simple matter of spotting a potential meal and giving chase, instead, wolves are selective. They carefully observe the herd, looking for the young, the old, the sick, or the injured. These individuals are easier to take down and require less energy expenditure, maximizing the pack's chances of a successful hunt. Once they've selected their target, the wolves coordinate their attack. One group, usually the strongest and fastest, will initiate the chase, driving the prey away from the safety of the herd. Meanwhile, another group of wolves positions themselves ahead, ready to intercept the prey when it tries to escape. This strategic placement also serves to guide the prey towards a particular direction, often into an area with more obstacles or rough terrain, where the prey is at a disadvantage. Throughout the chase the wolves communicate with each other using body language, vocalizations, and even scent cues. If the initial attack fails they don't give up. They regroup, reassess, and launch another coordinated attack. This persistence, combined with their intelligence and teamwork, makes wolves incredibly efficient hunters. It's worth noting that this strategy isn't just about securing a meal, it's also about survival. By targeting the weakest members of a herd, Wolves help keep the overall population healthy and in balance with the environment. The hunt is a testament to the wolves' intelligence and teamwork, but what happens when the chase begins? The chase is perhaps the most thrilling part of the hunt, 
It's a test of endurance, speed, and agility. When the wolves have identified their target, the chase begins. It's not a quick sprint but a long, drawn-out pursuit. Wolves are built for stamina, not speed. They can maintain a steady trot for hours on end, covering distances of 50 to 60 miles in a single day. Their strategy is to wear down their prey. The wolves take turns leading the chase, rotating the front line to keep the pack fresh. It's an impressive display of team coordination, and a testament to their social structure. The goal is to exhaust the target. While the prey may be faster in short bursts, it cannot maintain such speeds for long. Over time it grows tired, slower, more vulnerable, and that's when the wolves close in. However the chase is not without its risks. Wolves must avoid injury at all costs. A broken leg, a twisted ankle could mean death in the harsh wilderness. So, they move with calculated precision. They navigate the terrain with a keen sense of their surroundings, leaping over obstacles, dodging under branches, weaving through the forest with an almost acrobatic grace. But it's not just about physical prowess. Wolves are intelligent creatures. They understand their prey, their habits, their weaknesses. They anticipate escape routes and coordinate their movements to trap the prey, like a well-orchestrated symphony of predator and prey. In the chase, the wolves are not just running, they are strategizing, communicating, adapting. They are pushing their bodies to the limit but also their minds. It's a survival game, a dance of life and death, and the wolves are the masters of this dance. So remember, the chase is not just about speed, it's also about endurance and resilience. It's about the intricate interplay of physical and mental prowess, a testament to the wolves' adaptability and survival. It's a spectacle of nature's raw, unfiltered power, a reminder of the harsh realities of life in the wild. The chase is not just about speed, it's also about endurance and resilience. The final stage of the hunt is the kill. It's a crucial moment that requires precision and strength. At this stage the wolves have isolated their prey, and the alpha members of the pack are ready to make the kill. The alpha male and female with their superior strength and agility are typically the ones to take the lead. The wolves aim to make the kill as quickly and efficiently as possible. This is not merely a matter of convenience or preference but a critical aspect of their survival strategy. A prolonged struggle with the prey can lead to unnecessary injuries for the wolves, possibly threatening their survival. To make the kill, wolves target the throat or hindquarters of their prey, aiming to immobilize it and cause fatal injuries. They use their powerful jaws, capable of delivering a crushing force of up to 1,200 pounds per square inch, to clamp down on the prey. This action, coupled with their sharp teeth, is usually enough to bring down even the most formidable prey. The kill is also a moment of profound significance within the pack. It reinforces the hierarchy, with the alpha members eating first, followed by the rest of the pack. This ritualistic sharing of the kill strengthens the bonds within the pack, ensuring their unity and cooperation in future hunts. The kill concludes the hunt, a testament to the wolves' remarkable hunting skills and teamwork. Wolf hunting is a complex process that requires intelligence, teamwork, and physical prowess. From the beginning, each wolf in the pack plays a unique and crucial role. The alphas lead the pack, making strategic decisions, while the betas and others contribute to the collective effort with their skills and strength. The hunting strategy is a marvel of natural coordination and tactical planning. The pack works together to identify, isolate and pursue their prey, using the terrain to their advantage and adapting to the movements of their target. The chase is a high-stakes game of stamina and speed, and the final kill, though brutal, is a testament to the wolves' strength and determination. Each stage of the hunt, each role within the pack is vital to their survival. It's a testament to the power of teamwork and strategic thinking in the wild. And that's how a pack of wolves hunt, a fascinating display of nature's intricate dance of survival.